what we learned today is actually stuff that you could use to configure a switch right now. It may not log in and do the scripting for you, but let's say that you wanted to write a script where um, where it was, I want to build the base configuration for this, for this device. Uh, the first thing I need to know is a host name. Uh, then I need to know the IP address. Then I need to know the subnet mask. Then I need to know the default gateway. Uh, then I need to know, you know, whatever. Sorry, so that, that's four things there. Now, what we've done so far is we've just done variables. We haven't done any inputs, but that I think that's pretty soon where you're going to start asking the user for an input. But it's the exact same thing because all that it, that does is it's asking for someone to fill in that variable. So what that means is you could have that, and then you could have it split at, or spit out a basic configuration for you. You could you could absolutely write out all the bits of that code and then say, okay, insert variable here. You know, in my case, it would be config system interface, edit, and then what's the port that I said is going to be my my WAN interface? Yeah, WAN one. Okay, perfect. I use the variable WAN one. Now then, set IP. What's the IP I gave? Great. So, so, ho- so hold on, because my brain just lost you. I think I know where you're going. So WAN one equals, and then would it be an IP address? Like, what's that variable that you're calling? Later? I'm saying I would I would prompt the user for a variable, and then what I would normally do is I'd spit out a bunch of code that they could literally copy and paste. So mm-hmm. if you want on the next one, I could actually uh, I don't mind guiding, and we could go log into a box. I would just need to know which thing we're logging into, and I could show you how we could write a base configuration with really what we've learned now.